Hi, I'm Dee Vieira, and I'm here in my kitchen in good old Massachusetts. And today I'm going to be making a peach cobbler. Peaches are ripe now, it's a good time to make something like that. So first I will put in the sugar, cornstarch, and cinnamon in the pan. And then I have four cups of peaches. And uh, I bought these peaches from Furman's Farm, which is down the road. You can see they're nice peaches. And then I'm going to add a teaspoon of lemon juice. And I'm going to bring this over to the stove after I stir this all up. Very easy recipe, and it's quite delicious. Okay, I'm going to bring this over to the stove. And now I'm going to uh, cook this mixture on medium heat. And I just keep stirring it until it thick boils and thickens. So this is about the right consistency, and I'm just going to take it off. And now I'll be making the topping. And now I'm going to be making the topping. And this consists of a cup of flour, a teaspoon and a half of baking powder, a little pinch of salt, and a tablespoon of sugar. And to that, I add three tablespoons of shortening. Okay, I combine that so that it's all incorporated in the flour. Then I add a half a cup of milk. Stir that around. And this is going to go on top of the peaches. And uh, with spoonfuls. Doesn't cover all of the peaches. It's just spoonfuls here and there on top of the uh, fruit. And now we're going to finish this off. We put the peaches into the casserole. And we take the topping and just put spoonfuls on top, like that. All around the dish. And we'll be cooking this in a 400 degree oven for 30 minutes or until the topping is golden brown. Okay, now this is going to go in the oven. And this is the finished peach cobbler. And uh, it's really scrumptious when you put a dollop of ice cream on there. So enjoy.